Right, in this video, I'm going to be attempting what we're calling on Instagram the two pull challenge based on something that Becca at Five Lines said on the Wheel Talk uh, podcast about making the most of your first two pulls, try and get as much height as you can out of them, and in theory, you don't need the third, which um, is how you one of the ways you can get faster when throwing for production. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go. Got 500 grams of clay. Um, and the aim is to get as much height as possible out of two pools and hopefully keep the walls even as well. Um, probably not something that I'll incorporate into my normal throwing because I don't need that speed because I don't do production at that level, but a fun challenge. So I'm going to set my laser to six inches, which is 15 centimeters. And that's my target height, which I should be able to do. Um, so yeah, the idea is to throw um, aggressively, obviously staying in control of the clay if possible, but um, a bit more aggressively than you normally would, uh, and try and really get height out of those first two pulls. Um, I'm using Reclaim, I've just wedged up quickly, so I think it's going to be a little softer than the clay I'm used to. That feels about right, so hopefully not going to be too far off and yes yeah, so the idea is to just really maximize the height because you can push clay far more aggressively than we generally do as uh, so long as you can stay in control of it um, one thing I've seen other people get wrong on Instagram is leaving the clay skirt at the bottom so I always start by pushing in with my thumbnail to incorporate that into the wall of the piece. Uh, and then you just want to apply as much pressure as you think you can get away with. It's the first pull. And then this is the make or break one. This is where you can get most of your height. So that's the first attempt. See if I can improve on it. bit more height out of that first pull this time. Six inches. I'm sure I'll be able to get to the bottom particularly easily. I'm still going straight back in the replay. I don't want to 
leave too much water in the base if I can avoid it. Yeah, not too bad. And I wedged up three balls, so let's try a third attempt. Half expecting these not to stick back to the bat. Generally wouldn't reuse a bat over and over like this. They stick better when the bats are mostly dry. But so long as you stick the outer edge of the clay down first. So before you try and apply too much pressure, just really squash the outer edge in. It does seem to, to generally do a pretty good job of sticking it back down. Well, I'm not sure whether or not these sorts of challenges ever I've never really seen anything like this take off on YouTube but um, if you're on Instagram or TikTok or something like that and want to do it and tag me I will well particularly Instagram if you do it and tag me I'll share it to my stories and we'll get a big collection of all of the attempts that people have made. It's a fun challenge even if you don't share the result it's a, a good skill building exercise. Yeah, I've gone a bit too far that time. You can see I didn't get any more out of the base, I don't think. But it goes a bit too thin there. But yeah, I would normally do three pulls and then rib the outside smooth. And you're probably looking at saving 30 seconds per piece doing it this way which if you want to throw a piece every 90 seconds um, which I think that's sort of what Becker's aiming for or something in that sort of ballpark then obviously every second counts but if you're not throwing that many pieces uh, there isn't really any need to go for all out speed and efficiency Yeah, I got all the extra height from the top, which is not ideal. I just can't quite bring myself to apply any more pressure than that. That already felt overkill at the bottom. I could obviously push it a bit more because there's still a decent amount of clay, but um, I'm too much of a coward. <laughs> 